broadcasting live at filmon.com. It's Janice TV, and I am Janice Dickinson, and you are? Dylan Howard. I can't believe you forgot my name already. Well, I, you know what? You know, age. age Dylan before. Howard from Radar Online and Star Magazine. And I cannot believe that I'm here with the most provocative name in showbiz news. Am I? Well, what you've been around, for a, well, been around for a long time, but <laughs> a good time. <laughs> now, you've been around for a short time on JaniceTV.com. But I must say, have you made quite the impact? You bet. Are you kidding? I've already got hundreds of thousands of people dialing in as we speak. And it all was because of your criticism of the car trash ins. You know what makes me sick? Chris Jenner. Next. I'm so sick and tired of her being bad stage mom to those kids. These women that let their daughters go out and make porn tapes. <laughs> I'm just tired of these master manipulators using all this wedding bullshit to go out and sell her book. I challenge you, Kris Jenner. I challenge you, I'll give you $5,000 to get in the ring with me and box. Look what your daughter did for the credit card fraud. Look what Star Magazine and People Magazine put about your daughter's wedding. Fraud. Doesn't any of this make you feel bad? Or maybe it was your facelift that was done on live TV that your screws got pulled in too tight, which is making your mind off. <laughs> Leave your youngest alone, okay? Because she doesn't need all that help with all the surgery everyone else has had. Don't hawk her on your TV show. Leave your kids alone. Don't you and that tranny husband of yours have enough money? This is Janice Dickinson signing out. Okay, we've got 10 trending topics for Tuesday, December 6, 2011. Our first on the list is Brooke Mueller, arrested for cocaine. <laughs> well, you know what, again, I mean, please, it's just a neurobiological problem at this point. What do you think? Well, she was in Aspen, uh, ironically, almost two years to the day that Charlie Sheen held a, 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 a knife, knife to her throat. Mm -hmm. Charlie Sheen, have you ever been on a date with Charlie Sheen? I did. Uh, he stood me up and I blew coke all over his face in the limo. No, and then he tried how, to... How know, did he stand you up? When was this? It was like, it was about eight years, eight, nine, ten years ago. I don't know. It's so long ago. It's and just another thing so I've forgotten. What happened, though? What happened? It was up at, uh, up at Beverly Glen, and uh, he was like two hours late. I got tanked back then when I was drinking. And he turned up in his limo. Turns up in his limo, and he was saying, oh, I was reading for the Green Hornet, and I was like, it doesn't matter. You kept a woman waiting, and I was really pissed. So uh, we left. The, we left. I got into his limo, and he had like lines of coke chopped up, like right there. I got in, pulled a Woody on what? Allen, like on a on a a tray. Okay. Cocaine on a tray. In a limo. Yeah, I blew it all over his face. <laughs> what did he say? Nothing. He probably tapped out some more. <laughs> so okay, but on to Brooke Mueller. She got arrested in Aspen, almost two years to the day after Charlie Sheen held a knife to her throat. Correct. Uh, she was not only arrested for cocaine possession; she was also arrested because she assaulted a woman at another nightclub. Anger issues much? Well, I mean, let's face it. Those poor kids. They have two twins, Bob and uh, Max. Disgusting know. how they portray them in. Uh, you know, they're so rosy. They just didn't entertain. Well, you know, the thing that really gets me is that she arrived back in Los Angeles from Aspen. And she got out of the off the private jet and went into a car, and there the two kids were with with them. Now she was in Aspen, chose to leave the kids at home with a nanny, go out on the town, tear up the town with a pocket full of cocaine, gets whoa, arrested. Whoa, whoa. A, a, an ounce of cocaine isn't a pocket full. That's that's like a sack full, like Santa Claus. Well, ho, it's, it's, ho, ho. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they've arrested her not just for possession, but with the intent to distribute. So well, of course, she's in. She's in. Uh, she's up more. She's that's up shit creek without a paddle. Yeah. Well, yeah. And I hope that she, rather than goes to jail, they need to take the children away from them first off. But they don't. And and that's the interesting thing is that that Charlie won't contest the custody of the children with her. Uh, and she won't contest custody when he has them because ultimately if it goes to court, they'll end up ruining each other because they know so much about each they other. They do. They know where the bodies are buried. Well, you know a, a bit about Charlie. I like Charlie. I spent a lot of time with Charlie during the Is course of... Is he circumcised or uncircumcised? <laughs> I have been in a room where Charlie Sheen pulled his pants down and peed into a cup. Yikes, pretty. Well, and passed a drug test at the time in February. Um, how, how big is he packing down there? He's we packing know. a fair punch. <laughs> now, you really shouldn't have stood him up that night. You should oh, have gone please. back there. Oh, please. Yuck. No, 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 no. No. That must have been a very surreal experience for you. Well, think about it. I can honestly sit here and it honestly happened that I was waiting 
on a date with Charlie Sheen. Did you expect to go home with Charlie that night? No. Okay. I expected him to drive me home. Okay. Not only forgetting, of course, that people can check out uh, on JaniceTV.com. They can actually talk to us live, Janice. Come on, bring it. Do you want me to read some of the comments that people I are do. saying at the moment? Indeedy doody. I've got to put the glasses on. Like how great my breasts look. Um, an ounce is nothing to Janice, says Miss PMX. It's not very nice, is it? Miss PMX, this, this cocaine hasn't gone up this since my ex-mother-in-law fell in the well. I am clean and sober. Someone said, hi, Drew Carey. I have been said. People have previously said that I look like Drew Carey. No, you don't. You're you're very handsome. Drew Carey Thank you. is not. Thank you. Next. Thank you. All right. What else are we going to talk about? Rosie O'Donnell got engaged this week. It took after her that just long. Three months. Three months. It took her that long. Normally, lesbians they move together right away, and normally they get married right. Not in the state of California. That thanks to the no on Prop 8, all my gays should be able to get married right away. Okay, all right. But this is probably the best thing that's going on in Rosie's career at the moment. Because yeah. that TV show is an absolute flop. So is the network. Well, they should take us. They should absolutely give us a show. But the network's going down, down, down. I don't get it because we love Oprah and we, we love do. what she stands for. Mm -hmm. Big and plus size. That's nice. She needs a diet. Really? She yeah, she's gonna but I think isn't that it's why going we to love affect her? her heart. But isn't that why we love her? Because her battles with weight have been in tabloids for so many years. Uh, her her weight flip flops. And I think it's all right. I don't think it's a big deal. Will you have sex with her? Uh, probably not. Well there you go. I don't do anything over Holler. 35. <laughs> you know what? How old are you? Uh, not I'm not telling. Okay. It's, you know, for you for your magazine it um, misprinted. Incorrectly again. Normal, not normal. Normal, not normal, that's me. Janice, you're not happy. Tell us about the time. Star Magazine, of course, is the publication that I am senior executive editor of. Love this there was, bag. There was once a time when you stormed into Star's headquarters, Star's global headquarters, desperate to speak to an editor because... I was a little I was a little bit lit back in those days. It was off the cuff of another America's Next Top Model. I, ju I just got tired of your magazine saying that I was not normal. I mean, what's not normal about me? You Someone's know? saying here that because of your comments about Oprah that you are alienating both fat people and gays. No, not true. Not true at all. I love a good Miss Oprah moment. I'm just here because I can help you, Oprah, on your weight issues. I can help you. I help a lot of people and I'd like to try to get my fingers stuck um, on Oprah for the day. How many, how many pounds do you think she needs to lose? It's not a question of pounds, it's a question of changing her diet. Her boobs are ginormous. I don't know whether you saw a photo two weeks ago. Then again, we've seen your boobs on the beach in Malibu six months ago, haven't we? Yeah, they're not bad. They're not bad, but why did you not cover them up? Why? It, I, I, was came I was out on an isolated ago. beach and your, your oh, star and reporters... Oh, just happened to get photographed by the pap... Just happened to get photographed okay, by the paparazzi. You know what? You are in no, you're, you're in no place to say anything about people climbing out of the bushes and just My gone so shooting that. me. That's exactly what he did. Not true. He's lucky he didn't get his arse she kicked. She was on the beach, not wearing a bikini, friends. That says no, something about my good friend No, I had on a one-piece, and I pulled it down, and I just rolled over, and my gorgeous nipple popped out. It was rather large. Mom, well, Okay, speaking about, like it. speaking about sobriety. You are gay, aren't you? No, I'm not gay. Yes, you are. I'm not gay. What do you mean rather what? large? My breast size or my nipple? No, your nipple. Uh, you know what? I've had two children. What have you had? Uh, you've had two children? Two kids. How old? 24 and 17. That's giving up your age, isn't it? You would have been at least 20. <laughs> you know um, what? Let's that's talk about sobriety. That's no, why you didn't I think that I was going to be this uh, feisty with you, did you? No, I like it. I like uh, a good feisty. I want to talk about sobriety. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Kim Richards has checked into rehab, and I can tell you exclusively on JaniceTV.com that she's checked into rehab at the Betty Ford Clinic in uh, Palm good. Springs. That's good news. And she's checked in not just by herself, but with her partner as well, her new partner, a guy by the name of Ken, who it, it's a key storyline as part of the show. Um, and they're both checked into rehab with his and her packages, and uh, Pete, wait, wait, wait. that's at least 90 days oh, that they'll be there. Two for the price of one? I don't think so. I think mm. Betty Ford charges pretty much, pretty high. You know what? They? I wish sobriety on both of them. I don't wish anyone out there to be suffering, and uh, I don't even know who Kim Richards is because I've never seen The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Uh, so You're not I a big reality fan, are you? Even though that oh, you yes have been I on am. reality shows. I love The X Factor. Love, love The love. X Factor. I only watched it for the first time last week. Now, I Simon can't believe Cowell's that little hot. kid got voted off. Simon Cowell's hot. Why? Because he, he, do, he does his buttons down to here? No, he's smart. He's... he's that hair, it's like just a poindexter well, straight Well, let's see. Cut. I have run my finger. Oh, yours is much better than Simon's. Why is that? 
Because it's you have hair. I don't know if Simon's is all well, that. Well, you said I had a receding hairline earlier, I which did, I well, don't. I, you, it's just the way the camera was pointed. It's a at little you. short at the moment, but anyway. Would you a little face? Did you get off on the wrong side of the bed this morning? Don't try and mimic an Australian accent. Hello, there she on the Barbie. No, Kim Richards. Now, There's the one thing I wanted to ask you about, though, as a reality TV connoisseur, uh, this whole issue with the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills at the moment is quite, quite the talking point. We have Taylor Armstrong, whose husband notoriously committed suicide. <laughs> A little bit sensitive, thank you, Janice. Sorry, you know what? A I don't watch sensitive. it, but I heard about it. Uh, and then last night's episode was quite uh, quite revealing. I mean, she had a nervous breakdown on camera in front of everyone. <laughs> well, so and have I, I a couple times. Big and I deal. tweeted last night that that was train wreck television at its quote best slash worst because I think it's disgusting. Would she have the train wreck about? She could be menstrual. <laughs> well, yes, she could be going through menopause. Actually, ouch. She's that old. Ouch. Um, but let me that say. That <laughs> old. Boy, how old are you? I'm young. How, how old do you think old? I am? Mm, 34, 35. Close, close, mm. close. What All I will right, say Gramps. is. No, what I wanted to say is that this reality TV genre, it really disturbs me that someone has a, a breakdown on camera and that the producers allow that person to have the breakdown and not get them the help that they needed. Are she you was kidding being, me? She Producers was being, love no, but, moments like this. But that's ridiculous. I'm a producer. We love sensationalism. And sure. You ought to sure. know by now I know about, about it. that. Hey, I, I know about it. Right about. I know about it. But when you've got someone whose husband is beating her Ouch. to a pulp, no. These producers ought to step in and do something and save her life, and they could have saved his life. Instead, they didn't. The guy committed suicide. They lived above their means. Well, you don't and know. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills ought to be ashamed of itself because the last two weeks have been disgusting. Mm, let's 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 put, let's let's ban it. Let's just ban it. Let's watch Discovery Channel. That'll be better. Well. Discovery Channel ought to stay to something, shouldn't they? Uh, they uh, They're absolutely developing a should. pilot for Jesse James. Did no you read that? No way. They are. Sandra are you Bullock's serious? Husband. <laughs> it should be uh, Animal Planet. The guy's a monkey. What He's do you think of Jesse James? I, I mean, don't the like him. How could anybody cheat on Sandra Bullock? Quite easily, apparently. How, how did she not know that he was putting his pants down to any woman that walked past him and she didn't know about it? I'm not she saying she's responsible for it. She was making wonderful movies. She's, a, she's America's sweetheart. All right. And I don't like him, don't like what he stands for. Don't, you know what, he should not only, he should not move to California, he should just move out of the country. Don't like you, Jesse James. Don't even think about coming on to me because I won't even look at you twice. Our, our friends here on Janice TV are going off. They're saying Drew's back, he's put his glasses on. They no, may I have like a point. wearing glasses. My I like wearing fans, glasses. let me see. Hmm. They're pretty bad. They're pretty are bad. they? Good Lord. Okay, now I'm Klein. One. Arnie Klein is genius. He does my face all the time. The Californian Medical Board has said that they are going to investigate him as a result of the Michael Jackson allegations. Of course, we saw Conrad Murray uh, sentenced to four years jail for involuntary manslaughter. That's disgusting. Um, well, no, I think there was reasonable Should've doubt there. Should have put him there. away I, for life. I, no, I disagree completely. Why do you say that? I'll debate you on he this. He left I used to be a debating the room champion. When, when Michael was sure. under his care. Sure. He should have been present, and he taped him. He knew he was going to do something sensational with him after, you know, Michael, I don't know, when Michael was on tour or something. Nevertheless, Conrad Murray got what he deserved. He should have gotten more, in my opinion. Answer this Dr. question. Dr. Arnie Klein is a great doctor. He is... I Why mean, is he a great doctor? Because... He's very conservative at what he does. Don't forget, Michael D Jackson was already addicted to Demerol, and Michael Jackson had asked for Demerol. Okay, I ask you this question. Was Michael Jackson a drug addict? I've never seen him do drugs. I don't know. But I will say that uh, uh, after reading and knowing the little that I do know of him, if he had problems sleeping, if he was asking for, uh, like, Demerol and, and narcotic drugs, this is a serious biological problem. It's a biological problem because he can't sleep. And Here's you are you don't know. I don't know. You don't know, neither do I. I wasn't like, in the my room. My heart goes out but to the let family. Me tell you, let me tell you, Michael Jackson was a drug addict. How do you he know? He was addicted to Demerol. It's you, because of doctors like Conrad Murray that let, that allowed him because money and, can buy anything. And I know you like Dr. Arnold Klein and he may have treated you in the past, but I do believe that Dr. Arnold Klein and other physicians most certainly did enable him. Michael Jackson. I don't agree with you. And because I, think I know the inside because okay. Dr. Klein has discussed this with me. This is the thing with Conrad Murray. Conrad Murray was a bad dude. It's okay. You can tell me. I'm a doctor. He had multiple women on the go. Ouch. He wasn't prepared uh, to what pay the necessary... Mean? He had three women on the go at once. They what does on the go mean? Well, he was shagging them. He's single. No, he's got a, he's got a baby mama. 
with a child. Oh, you really are sticking to the points here. Go ahead. No, so he was a bad dude. He was guilty of being a bad doctor and being a bad From human what? being. But From what? What connotated but that? There were so many other doctors that were also responsible for Name what them. happened to well, I would say Dr. Arnold Klein. He's he's a dermatologist. He is not an internist. He is not, you know, a proctologist. He is not a well, let's hope not. If you went if you visited him. <laughs> No, I'm not down there yet. You might, you might need it, but uh, proctology tests everybody, mammograms and proctology. Anyway, my, my argument is that Dr. Dr. Conrad Murray was well and truly a victim of a much wider problem, an epidemic when it came to Michael Jackson, and unfortunately he paid the ultimate price. While a number of other doctors uh, have to, I guess they're facing the music though, because Arnold Klein is facing the California Medical Board. But most certainly, Dr. Conrad Murray has paid the ultimate price for what a number of physicians were doing. Dr. Klein is a marvelous doctor. How okay, many Botox you, injections has he given you? Uh, a few, a few jabs here no, and can there. Can I ask that, in all, in all honesty? I don't know the exact well, I, I've needles, never, I've but never I've had, had it done for him three or four times, three, and he's very good. Is that the good. amount of time you've had it in your entire life, three no, or four times? No, 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 no. I, no, I don't first, know. Again, I was the I'm first not, in line for Botox when it... I'm not taking the piss out of you. I'm, I'm genuinely I want to know, like, how many times would you have done it? And and with, doc with Dr. Klein? No, no. Let's break this As down. I'm it's my TV show. I'm here to say I was the first in line to, to do Botox. I'm still getting Botox. I market my face on TV. Don't I look good? You do. You look amazing. Thank you. It's, you know, around here. It's here. It's, I mean, right around here, you know, it just takes the laugh lines away. It does. You need a few up here. Oh, uh, people say that because when know? I frown and I frown But I do love your mouth. Oh, thank you. Mm. What else are we going to talk about today? How big are you downstairs? Big. Big? Very big. What are you packing? I'm packing heat. Cool, cool. Larry King announces he wants to be cryogenetically frozen when he dies. He's not packing heat. Larry I thought he King. was already frozen. Well, you know what? No. Larry King is a great, 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 great guy. I, I just, But the fact that he had sex with his wife and his wife's sister is a little much. I think. Now I want to talk to you about Jennifer Lopez. You're a big fan of J-Lo. I love the J-Lo. So Jennifer Lopez at age 42 has decided to shack up with a new man at age 24. Casper so? Smart. One of her backup dancers. Did yes! you ever shag anyone on the uh, modeling circuit? Me? That you worked with? Of course I did. Are you kidding? Male models? Hot. Yes, Very hot. You should never ever pork the payroll. And J Lo clearly is. And this is a concern Porking to me. Porking the payroll. Maybe the network is the payroll and it's not her. Yeah, but see. this this dude's twenty four years of age. So jealous. He's got no, I don't find Jennifer Lopez and he can dance. at all attractive. And he's phenomenal. Well, I find her attractive, but I don't find her oh my God. sexy. I'm not attracted Look, to her. Look, she is allowed to have sex with whomever she wants. She is she is separated from her husband. Well. What do you think about Mark? Uh great singer. Great singer, that's about all. <laughs> But what I will say about J-Lo is so she's flaunting this 24-year-old dude in front of her three-year-old twins who are just coming to terms with the fact that their mother and father have split. That's They're tough. coming to terms with that. And then all of a sudden, they've got this 24-year-old young fella introduced to them in uh, Thanksgiving in Hawaii. Now she's gone to Morocco. She's in Chile. I can break a story for you. Here. Hit it. Do you want to hear it? Right now You know how they're doing a reality TV. They're doing a reality TV show uh, in Latin America at the moment. That's not new it's news. Called, no, I knew Will that weeks it? ago, sorry. Will you let me, I've got to explain the story. Mm -hmm. They're doing this reality TV show called The Chosen. I can't pronounce the real Latin word, but anyway. Viva la Chosen. Something like that, yes. Viva la Viva. Now, Mark Anthony and J-Lo were both co-hosting this show, and they were filming this week in Santiago, Chile, and Lima, Peru. Guess who didn't turn up because he's furious that she's flaunting the romance with the 24-year-old? He's quit the show. He has not, he really. He has quit the show, rang Simon Fuller, the creator of American Idol, and told him, it's over, I'm not going to go to Latin America well, last week. Well, he's going to get sued, isn't he? Well, they're, they're, they're manoeuvring behind the scenes to try and get things back on track. We don't but need Mark Anthony on the show. But she was filming last week by herself. Mark didn't go. He's fed up with the fact that she's got this new fella on the go. Uh, he's really, really agitated that uh, this fella's been introduced to the kids. You know, and he's got a lot of fucking nerve because he did the same thing when he was, he was married to Miss Universe, and then when he took up with, I think, J-Lo in the first place. Yeah. He flaunted J-Lo in front of his children, so he's a hypocrite. And J-Lo's also not talking to her mother, who's the primary caregiver for those kids. Guadalupe? Because, yes, Guadalupe. Guadalupe? Guadalupe. She's uh, a cool lady. Guadalupe's very upset that J-Lo has found a new man so soon after her split from Mark Anthony. Guadalupe, she's bought you so many houses, so many jet rides, so many, so much plastic surgery yourself. Stayazita. Oh, here's a question. Mm. What do you think about Tyra Banks? Asks Mimi. Tyra Skanks? 
Tyra Banks. Tired skanks. Someone says she hates Tyra Banks. Well, no shit, Sherlock. I don't like her. I don't like the fact that she wasn't generous with her crew. I don't like the fact that she uh, she steals everything on plagiarism. What I wrote in my book, No Lifeguard and Duty. Fact, fact, fact. I mean, she had the whole thing uh, posted. Shook everything on the show, and she didn't pay me as a writer and a producer on that show. Nothing on the promise that we were going to be paid next season, next season, next season, nothing. Furthermore, she gave everybody hamburgers from McDonald's hamburgers. Christmas presents while she hoards all of her $90 million. Well, you can take that money and stick it up your fat ass, Tyra. Amy Love says you don't look 56. She honestly looks like she's in her 30s. Thank you, Amy, and I love you too. Keep your interest coming because I've got more to come for the next I'm 20 years. I'm concerned that Fun Boy said I have a nice smile. Fun Boy's a little light in his loafers, <laughs> a little bit. Now we bit. might. Why don't we finish off with your favorite topic, the sex? Kardashians? <laughs> oh, the Kardashians. Oh, let's finish off with your there. favorite topic, sex. Sex is good. Sex sells. Sex is genius. Who are you having sex with? Not telling. Why not? I don't kiss and tell. We're not talking about your boobs on the beach in Malibu six months ago. You were with a man. Yes. Who was he? I'm not telling. Why? Because he's so. It's too salacious. How hypocritical of you not to talk about your own life when we're dissecting everyone else. Well, since I've had <coughs> Very sex hypocritical. with millions of men in all countries. How many? Millions. No, no, we know in all seriousness. How many? Yeah. I need an accounting firm. <laughs> <laughs> you That's love me. Waterhouse Cooper is available to do ah, the audit. Of Kardashian Genesis collection, vagina. a huge disappointment for Sears. Well, what's next? Anyone that puts their and goes into business with the Kardashians, it will bomb. No one likes them. Everyone's tired. I'm sorry. They your still magazine, sell though. They still they sell. They still sell to what? To the public. To who? I mean, Elephants. It was on the front of, uh, Please look at look at look her body. It's gonna it's it gonna so fall sticky fast. over that side of the table. This was Star Magazine last week. Myself. The new issue comes out where Kim's bombshell. Kim was telling people, and, and Kim's sister Chloe was telling people that they thought Chris was gay because he wouldn't touch her after the honeymoon. Well, he's smart. He probably catches something. Why do you hate something. them so much? It's not hate. It is it's, hate. It's, it's I'm, vitriol. You don't even know what I'm about to say, so let me answer a question, Big Sorry, Mouth. Sorry, love. Not the love yet. <laughs> when you start, when you start taking me shopping, then I'll love you. <laughs> I just think because of the fact that their wedding was a hoax and that we bought into such uh, drama for television that was set like calling poor Chris, whatever his name is, Humphreys gay. That's just wrong. You don't call someone who's gay when he's not. He should turn around and sue. Well, I don't think he's going to. But why? He, he's 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 you, seeking to get, annul you, the marriage. You'd have more covers. <laughs> well, I mean, the, their storyline, the, the fact that they've split and that they're going through this divorce is uh, manna from heaven for any tabloid It's not editor. fucking interesting! It is! It is not! Why? It because! Is, it it Why is the highest rating reality television show on the planet at the moment. Much, much bigger than this ever will ben be. Bigger than Idol? Yes. Really? In more countries. It's American Idol. No, then you've got not. Australian Idol. You've, you've got to get your facts straight. It's not. The Kardashians, globally, is much bigger than Are Idol. Are you having sex with Kim Kardashian? No, I'm not. I, I don't like her. Would you? What about the mum? I don't like... Yeah, Chris Jenner's pretty sexy. Would you leave the daughter... The I don't like... You know what I don't like about the... No, she's like 16. Come on. Leave her alone. I think the Do you know what I don't like? The thing that makes too. me scared about the Kardashians is what, that, that the Bruce that Jenner has both his ears pierced. No. What is that about? He's entitled. He's an Olympic gold runner. But no, he does I, look like a drag queen. I think it's disingenuous for, <laughs> for you to say that no one gives a shit about the Kardashians when uh, it is the most uh, watched television program in the reality television genre in the world. Uh, it's boring. It's, But I must say, it's not boring. It's boring as hell. They are under enormous pressure at the From moment. whom? From Sears? No, from the credibility issues as a result of this divorce. Everyone thinks it was fake, and to be honest... It was fake. I, I kind of agree with it you. It was fake, and that's why but I'm isn't annoyed. But reality, isn't reality television at Not its very shows. essence fake? Not my shows. Well, that's bullshit, because they put you in a room with Rachel Lucatel on Celebrity Rehab because they knew that you two had personalities that would clash. That she was a friend means, of mine. You, that oh, means, you're buying whatever... That I, means that reality television is, by its very nature, scripted. It was not scripted. I, there was nothing scripted about Celebrity Rehab. I went in because I had a problem. At the last moment we found out that Rachel walked in, I was pleased to see her until she stole my clothes. What did she? She took clothes of mine. If you'd watch closely, the genius of me getting it, sober in front of millions of people. I do say that Celebrity Rehab is the one show that has a higher good, a greater good. 
and I, I'm a big fan of Dr. Why Drew. I like, like him Rachel? as a man. Because she brought I like Rachel. No, I like Rachel a lot. I talk to Rachel regularly. I think she's a nice person. She is a nice girl. She's, she's pregnant. I'm hearing she's pregnant. I haven't had that confirmed, but hmm. I am hearing that. She's happily married, and I think she wants to be a cop or something. Private detective. A cop, private detective, and Tiger, same thing. And Tiger wins his first tournament since the scandal broke. Good for him. Golf needed a boost. Ugh. I can't stand him. You can't? Why? I Jealous? Just, I, no, I just look at him and think he's a dirty man that needs well, to have a good match with a Well, you talked to Rachel, who, who had sex with him on a non-stop basis, broke up a marriage and brought down golf. Okay, Rachel carried out an extramarital affair. Bad Rachel. But Tiger Woods carried out an extramarital affair times 17, if not more. But isn't That makes it him a serial A predator. Pest. A predator. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but isn't it true that the the, the ex-wife is now dating someone who's a trebillionaire. And how's this for a little twist? That man used to be a friend of Rachel Lucatel's. No. So not Did only- Did she have sex with him? She says she didn't. In I fact, don't believe it. In fact, my sources tell me Ooh, this that is she juicy. may have actually pashed him, kissed him once, but they haven't had sex. No, no. It was like Black Avatar <sighs> coming no. in. Just let it be. Let it be. No, I will not. Yeah. Uh, so yes, it's, that's a twist of fate, isn't it? That Elon Nordegren is now dating is she someone happy? who used to be. Well, I don't know. I don't talk to her. Why not? Because she doesn't talk to anyone. And because she'd rather Swedish. talk to Rachel Yucatel. I don't speak Swedish. Are you naked? Next, Christy Brinkley owes five hundred thirty-one thousand dollars in back taxes. How the much IRS would she has filed a lien against her. How much would she have made in her career? Oh, millions, millions, and trillions. Plus, she could get. Billy Joel to pay it for her. You would think at 531000 she should just pay it and move on. I quite like the fact that she did uh, Chicago, and I quite like the fact that she's, uh, you know, running around, and she's a good mom. All right. I, I can't stand her, but she's a good mom. Jay Small says Kardashians are fail. North Korea says the Kardashians are whores. Exactly. I mean, all she does, I mean, please, she did that porn tape. The porn tape. What? Which isn't that good, by the way. You've seen it? Mm. You would see something like that. Me? I I've seen your sex tape. Good. I don't have a <laughs> sex tape. We yet. haven't recorded it yet. Well, who would it be with? Me. It will not be with you. I won't touch you for that remark. Um, all right. I think that's just about done us, isn't it? I've had enough. What we about can't continue no, to no, assault you. No, 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 me. no. I, I'm going to assault you. I, in fact, I'm going to maul you. <laughs> Keep watching for Half next week's luck. mauling. Oh, I'm coming back next week, am I? Listen, I hope so. You're watching Janice TV live on filmon.com. Janice.com, calm down, Janice. Listen, <laughs> come I, think, Janice. I think I'd Janice. like com, come. all of these magazines, every single one of them, to try get new material. What about, you know, ugh. This is the worst. The worst Natalie selling magazine Wood. of the week. I mean, these are Natalie the Wood. That's fascinating, that, ca that story. Natalie Wood. The one daughter that she had with Robert Wagner became Cr an actress. Yes. She really, hasn't really been in anything lately. No, but we, we love her. We uh, do love her. Do you think, th I mean, this, this investigation is going to amount to nothing. The LA Sheriff's Department is investigating this case, but it will amount to nothing. But I must say that Robert Wagner and Christopher Walken know what happened that night, and they should tell no, the no, no, the, the no, 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 no. The captain of the boat knows what happens, and then the woman who but was. But he was high on drugs, and he the was. The captain drunk. was. Yeah, he's admitted that. Re Qualades, Qualades, back in the seventies. What's you a Qualad? Some sort of illicit substance. Oh, I, I was weaned on Qualeds. Qualeds, yes. Nana. Well, see, there you go. It's my Australian accent coming There's out. shrimp on the barbie. I've had enough. You're being really rude to me. I'm not. Stop it. Do you Wrap like me? A little bit. Oh, all right. I take it back. You're blushing. This you know what? Let's talk away. about something interesting. Not like all what? these. Uh, get me some new topics today. Like on your phone. On your phone. You want them now? Yes. Demi Moore and Ashton Kutcher. Demi. Uh, is heartbroken at the moment. She recently attended the funeral of the woman who was her sober coach. Now Ashton is being seen around town, having late nights, hanging out with who's a number he, of who's women. Who's he having sex now? Uh, hey. Well, I don't know. Now is not necessarily, that means that it's current. I do mean, I think he had like, sex with other people Do you like other him point. on Two and a Half Men? No, I think it's terrible. I, I think he looks and sounds like a stoner and he's not funny. And the one thing that was good about that show was Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen was genius. <laughs> you did. You know what though? Ash and Kutchie That's used, used That's just rude. Demi Moore for, for absolutely everything. Now he's don't an A-lister. Don't you think she used him as well to keep her star current? What, what about her being a bisexual? 
I don't know. You tell me. What do you What do you hear about? That? I don't know. I haven't seen pictures, so it's hearsay. No, that but she you've clearly heard something on the Hollywood grapevine. I read it in your freaking magazine. You did. You yes, did. Yes, I did. Because I'm an avid star reader. Janice loves a star. I just wish she'd take Kim Kardashian off of it. Um, we'll do a story about you. I want it in depth. Follow me around for a week, and I'll give you exclusive. <laughs> You'll give me exclusive access in depth for a week. Easy access. <laughs> hey, what's going ever. on lately with Michael Douglas? Uh, he was photographed about three months we ago, love him. standing on a boat in Europe, smoking what looked to be a joint. No, well, he had cancer. Pots okay. Medical marijuana, yes, but not for also my kids. The notion about smoking after having the serious throat cancer that he had is. Oh my God! You know, both a of scary. he and I both need hypnotism. I smoke, and I want to quit. Interview I interviewed him uh, a little while ago, much before my time at Star, uh, and he was amazing. A, a lovely man, uh, what about and I think Kirk? he's looking terrific. What's Kirk, Kirk Douglas. Kirk Douglas. Well, the last time we saw him was at the Oscars when he looked as if he was dead. Oh, stop it! He's still he's one of my favorite legends. Gregory Peck, Kirk Douglas, Cary Grant. Mm. Mm. Love a good Cary Grant moment. Was Cary Grant gay? I don't know. You don't know? Before my time, love. Mm. I mean, today my new favorite actors are Michael Fassbender. <laughs> Just because of the name. Fast? No. Oh no. He no. was in. Was he in Jonah Hex as well with uh, Josh Brolin? Josh Brolin's one of my favorites. Josh Brolin's doing a movie with Sean Penn. What movie? Uh, it's a gangster movie. It goes all Mickey Key Cohen. You know what the sleepers for the Oscars is this year? Sean Penn. No. Demi Moore, uh, in Margin Call, which was a film. Really? Yeah. About the was Wall she Street good? collapse. Have you she seen was an it? amazing film. Uh, well, good. She needs something. Well, clearly. She's not getting it from Ashton. Ouch! That's my joke. I'm out of here. I gotta go back to the office. See you later. You're watching Janice TV live at filmon.com. Okay, anybody, keep those questions rolling. You know, I gotta say, working with Dylan was a really fun experience for me because he is the editor in chief of Star Magazine and he does an amazing job. I just certainly wish, just because Kim Kardashian family does sell magazines, come up with a new story, for example. Come up with. Come up with more Jennifer Aniston. Come up with more J-Lo. Come up, up with more, let's see, Katie Couric. Or what about some stories about rock stars and rock music or art or literature? But just the Kim Kardashians. Boring! Bye. Signing out. Love you to bits.